Okay, so, um... Probably something I should get out of the way first. I'm probably not going to be talking about the game a whole lot in this video compared to what I'd prefer. Uh, there's a couple reasons for that. Uh, for one thing, I did do a previous recording of this, but there was an issue with the video that I don't want to get into right now because I don't want to spend too much time talking about that. This game is kind of loud for me right now. Um, anyway, before I say any of that, though, this puzzle is interesting. This took me, like, an age and a half to figure out when I first played this game, and I don't know why. It's literally just, like, you repeat the pattern on that thing that's, like, doing its thing. Wow, what a hard puzzle. I am so proud of myself for finally figuring that out after, uh, what was it, like, three hours I spent just dicking around in here the first time? Alright, anyway. So, I had a previous recording of this, uh, had an issue with the video, had to scrap it, so I'm redoing it again. I had to replay the whole game to get back here, so that's really swell. But that's not what we're here to talk about. Um, the main thing is, that kind of worked out in the end, because I didn't really have much to say about basically anything I was doing in that video to begin with. So, yeah, and this just leads back to the beginning of the level. So, you can just skip that if you so desire. Uh, what are you doing? Yeah, I'm not gonna explain these, because it, it's pretty obvious. And the main reason that that worked out in the end is because... Oh boy, a lot has happened since recording that failed attempt and recording this. So, for one thing, this is the first video that I'm recording after I actually turn 21, or not 21, 24. Um, so yeah, uh, all of these videos are going to be going up like after I record this, basically, but you, know, you, get, you get what I mean. Um, so yeah, I'm 24 now, officially, not just when you're watching this. So, I had my 24th birthday, and, uh, it more or less went exactly how it usually does for me. I do nothing, get some stuff, and that's basically it. Uh, we bought a pie that I haven't, like, we haven't made anything with that yet. And... I don't know if I've mentioned this before, but I actually, like, everyone always gets cake for, like, your birthday as, like, a sort of thing. I don't know where that came from, but I don't do that. I hate cake. Like, just in general, I don't like how it feels on my face thing. So, instead, I always just, like, get some, like, uh, what's it called? The, like, I know what it's called, obviously, because we just bought one, like, yesterday. But, it's like that kind of like pie with the um, the crust with the holes in it. Uh, if you know what I'm talking about, I'll probably like flash it up on screen if I haven't done a decent enough job of saying what, as you can see from that. Um, yeah, I usually get like that and like usually like apple pie in place of a cake, and that's basically what we do. And then we wait like 50 years to actually eat any of it. Because, yeah, in my adult life, I tend to not really see my birthday as anything special, and I don't really like the idea of celebrating it as, like, a, you know, like a party or whatever. Or even just, like, a, like, fancy birthday dinner or whatever. Or dessert, I guess, because cake's not really something you eat as a dinner meal. Um... Yeah, I don't know, it, it's just, maybe it's just me being stupid, but I always just kind of feel really narcissistic. Like, I've always felt really narcissistic whenever anyone, like, whenever my folks threw me a birthday party as a kid. So in my adult life, I've basically just been like, yeah, fuck it, no. Like, that's probably just me being weird. I fully understand that, but, you know. 
So yeah, basically the only notable things happening because of that were I got some stuff. I got a comic, like... <laughs> I don't... I don't usually get a whole lot from our base because, you know, we're poor. So... <laughs> But, like, I got that, and I finally got the Insomniac Spider-Man game that came out, like, two years ago, and I started that up a bit. I haven't had enough time to get, like, too far into it, or any of the other things I've gotten so far, but... I got that, uh... Uh, Liv bought me Persona 4 Golden on Steam, and Nate bought me Code Vein also on Steam, and... Basically, with the... Because, like, my grandma also sends me, like, $25 in birthday money every time I turn a year older. So, I with that, uh, I put, like, 20 of that in my Steam wallet and used that and the remainder of what I had in my Steam wallet to get SpongeBob Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated, which... Uh, by the time you guys see this, it'll have been out for a few weeks now. Because it's coming out on the 23rd. And this'll go up in July, I think. But yeah, so that happened and... Oh, god damn it! I forgot the shortcut, didn't I? Uh, can I make that from here? Maybe. Yeah, okay. So yeah. Um, and the remainder of that money, uh, some of that went to... Excuse me for a moment, my face is itching. Some of that went to the comic I mentioned earlier, which would be the fifth volume of a comic I really like a lot called that. I'm not going to say what it is because I feel like nobody would even know how to sp spell that because it's got a word in it that I've never seen a single person like pronounce it properly aside from like actual French people. And me. Because I'm not French. I, I think I have a little bit of like Cajun in me on my dad's side, but... You know, that's not exactly, like, proper French, I don't think, and it's not like I even learned it properly from him. Uh, let's just ignore the molly cool for now, I don't care. Alright, so I'm basically just, like, doing whatever right now, if you can't tell. Yeah, so that all happened. Not really super eventful, but what is a little more eventful is uh, just this morning, or not actually this morning, because it happened like an hour ago and it's like 6.40 here. Ooh, ooh. Wow, that was like just enough for it to be possible for me to land on it. Oop. Oh, that worked out. But yeah, like, uh, about five today, I got a call from a number I didn't recognize, and when I answered, it was uh, someone saying, basically, hey, can I speak to, which is my real name, if you didn't know, and basically, uh... I might finally have a job. After like seven years of trying and just having the worst luck on the job hunt. Like, I don't know if I've said before, but I've had really, really awful luck trying to find a job in the last like seven years. Like basically since I got out of high school. I've been looking and looking, and nothing's really borne fruit. I've gotten a few interviews in the past, but pretty much all of them have gone terribly through no fault of my own. I didn't even have the chance to fuck them up. 
So, one that I always tend to talk about whenever people ask me about, like, my shit luck with interviews is, like, why am I going up here? But yeah, one I tend to think about a lot is I had an interview a few years back at a subway in town, and basically the lady at the interview, it was like a several people interview, and, you know... So, we were all, like, basically told to fill out a little extra application in addition to the one we obviously had to fill out in order to get the job offer in the first place, or the, to get called for the interview. Uh, so she hands me my thing to fill out. It's... I don't even remember what all was in it anymore. That's how long it's been. So, I fill it out. It takes a little while. So, then once I'm done, I get up to go and hand her the, uh, the sheet of paper that she sent me and that I filled out. And she's nowhere to be seen. Uh, I asked one of the employees, uh, hey, do you happen to know where the lady that interviewed, that's interviewing me went? Because she gave me this sheet of paper to fill out and now she's nowhere to be seen. And the employee, uh, says... Uh, she went out somewhere, like, on errands, basically, and is like, but y you can just leave it, with, you can just leave this with me and I'll give it to her when she gets back, and I'm like, okay. Obviously, I never heard back from that job, <laughs> so that's fun. How much time do I have left? Oh, I'm only, like, 11 minutes in, that's weird. That's way faster than I've generally gone in this level in the past. Man, I guess that's what happens when you're not fucking dead when you record these. Um, what else is there here? There it is, okay. But yeah, so there's that. Um, another one that I tend to think about a lot is, like, I had an interview scheduled for, what was it called, like, I think Freddy's Frozen Custard or something like that. It's like some hamburger shop that I have gone to, like, maybe three times since moving here. Um, so I had an interview scheduled for that. So I go in for that interview, like, 30 minutes early, mind you. And the lady at the uh, the place that I was interviewing at basically says that I arrived at the interview an hour late, even though I was early. And yeah, so basically I didn't get that job. She just said, "Hey, you're late, but yeah, maybe we'll have an well, an opening later, so you can like." Uh, maybe wait for that, and it, yeah, I obviously haven't heard from them yet. That was, that was like five years ago. Alright, uh, I'm trying to think of like other notable, like, bad job interviews I've had, and I can't think of any. I mean, even this uh, process for this job that I'm apparently getting soon. Um, even that had a little bit of an issue because uh, basically I got the call and the guy like couldn't hear me at first, so I was thinking like, oh, hang on, my reception might be bad, so I'm, I'm just gonna move somewhere with better reception and. At some point during that, the call dropped, and I couldn't call him again from my phone, so I had to, like, get my dad's phone to call him, to call him back. And that was a bit of an issue, but I did eventually get on the phone with him again, and, yeah, all is well, it seems. All is indeed well. Alright, let's see if I can get this. There we go. This one's a little bit tricky to get, just because, uh... 
it's kind of hard to see around you to like do all this platforming if you can't tell uh where do i go from here oh there it is yeah so i might have a job soon i I don't want to say where it is or what position it is, just because these videos are public. I, I doubt anyone's really going to be watching this aside from some friends, but, you know, you know. <laughs> Better be safe than sorry, basically. Uh, if you're a friend, you probably already know where this position was. Like, at least what store slash establishment I'm going to be working at, or am working at, probably by the time y'all see this. Uh, I've still got a decent amount of time left on the clock. Uh, what else can I do here? You know what, I know what I can do here. Let's, uh, let's head back to the sort of central branch over there near where Trouser is. <laughs> yeah, so, um, long story short, I have a job now. I don't know if that's going to interfere, uh, interfere, what? I don't know if that's going to interfere with my schedule for this or not. It shouldn't. These aren't, like, super demanding uh, videos to make. They're more or less just me, like, playing a game I like and talking. Oh, yeah, this Ghost Rider is also kind of a pain to get, because, um... It can actually spawn in here, and if that happens, you kind of just have to wait for it to despawn and try again. And that's a little bit annoying. Not, like, too bad, I guess, but it's still kind of annoying. But, yeah. So, uh, if I... If I sound weirdly not dead right now... That's why, it's because I'm actually happy for once. <laughs> like, I've been trying to find somewhere that'll hire me for like, seven years now. And I've just had the absolute worst luck with it. And I finally, finally, am starting to see results. And it's an okay-ish paying job too, it's like $11 an hour, which... I mean, sure, it isn't, like, a living wage or whatever, but for a starting job, that's not bad. Also, this, uh, this cutscene is kind of annoying, because it basically makes it to where you can't hit that switch without being, uh, blown over. But oh well. Oh well. Uh, we're at 1830 right now. Do I want to try the Kartos? You know what, yeah, I don't think these take that long, so... Let's give it a go. Alright, now to completely kill all that enthusiasm, and, uh... Well, mispronounce the word enthusiasm, for one thing. I really gotta get better about that speech impediment. I don't... I don't think that'll affect me too much, because uh, both of my brothers also have that, and they seem to do fine. Sign. Yeah. This is going great. <laughs> oh, and we're already like approaching 20 minutes again. Well, that's fine. Uh, I got this like first try in the failed recording. Let's see if I can get it again this time. Yeah, this is like the last one before they get like really bad. So like this one, it's still a bit jank, obviously. I mean, 
It's a Kartos thing. They're all a bit jank. But, you know, you know. This is, like, before it gets, like, really bad. Like, you'll see when we get to the next world what I mean. Because, like, all the ones from here on out have at least something, like, especially bad about them. And, wow, I'm doing actually a lot better than I did the first time, so... Yeah. For a second, it looked like I was about to fall off a pit, and I would have been... Really mad <laughs> that happened. God. Yeah, that that went out all right. Just a little bit over 20 minutes. I'm like 24 and my voice is still cracking. That's really nice. Really nice. You know what else is really nice? This fucking video game. I I like it a lot. It's good. It's fun. I will fucking fight you on this! There's some bad